on Tyra, the most talked about girl on Top Model. <laughs> was not born a girl. You still have the parts. I didn't have my surgery yet. Now, Isis goes head to head with top models club. I think it's the slap in the face and then saying God made a mistake. God doesn't make mistakes and I'm not a mistake. And a surprise that will change Isis's life forever. This is not happening. Plus, one of these former guests was born a boy and even I didn't know. Wow. Now on Tyra. Never in the history of America's Next Top Model has there ever been a finalist who was so controversial, so talked about, and so blogged about. If you Google her name and top model together, you get more than 400,000 search results. Almost a half a million search results. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. ISIS! ISIS, check her out. Isis first caught my eye when she showed up in the background of a photo shoot during cycle 10 of Top Model. This girl is absolutely amazing. And my staff said, Tyra, there's something a little different about that girl. So what's different about that girl? I was born physically male, but mentally everything else, I was born female. Isis. And when she joined the cast for cycle 11, she wasn't shy about letting everybody know her story. Transition is kind of like going through puberty. I started out as like as a kid, and now like I'm developing. Of course, ice has made some people uncomfortable. The way her body is now in the real world of modeling, I just don't see ISIS being booked. I think it's about time for ISIS to go home. Modeling's just not for her. I wouldn't say the cause is out yet, but the cat might might be scratching at the door a little bit at this point. But she wasn't about to stop being who she is for a second. I'm here, I'm myself. This is how I've always been. Transition or not, I'm me. Ultimately, Isis wasn't able to go all the way. But in her brief time on Top Model, she helped us all redefine what beauty really is all about. If you want to be a model, you can. And you're already an inspiration for the gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual community. OK, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come here and shine. It was so many obstacles, but this experience was wonderful. I feel like I've developed a strong backbone. I want to go out there and make my dreams come true. Everybody stand up for ISIS. Stand on up for seen you since you went home. I like this hair on you. Thank you. She's trying to steal my hair. <laughs> <laughs> we did a photo shoot cycle 10 of America's Next Top Model. Now Isis was not a contestant on Top Model at that time. The theme of the photo shoot was homelessness. I wanted to show that any homelessness can happen to anybody. So what we did is we had our top models dress as homeless girls, and we had real homeless girls dress in high fashion haute couture. So I'm editing, editing the film of 13 or 14 girls. I edit all the film on top models. So I'm in my room editing this film, and I keep seeing this beautiful girl in the background, in the background. And she's doing these beautiful poses and all these couture poses. Meanwhile, the girl in the foreground of the picture, the new top model girl is all stiff. But this girl is in the background. Look at that gorgeous shot. I mean, that is like couture. And I said, who the hell is that girl? And then that's when they told me that that girl <laughs> was not born a girl. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I wanted this girl on top model. And they said, you weren't born a girl. Mm -hmm. That picture changed your life, or those pictures changed your life. How did, how did you end up in that photo? Because that means that you were homeless. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, I guess people always think that that was fake. Or, but at the time, for a year, I was homeless. Um, I was living in an assistant living program. And from there, another program I was in called Reciprocity, they got a call from Top Model, I guess, you know, because they were involved with homeless youth. Mm -hmm. So they got the call, you know, about having a few girls. And five of us, they asked. So, of course, I wasn't going to turn that opportunity yeah. down. I always loved top models, so I just went for it. You went for it, and look what happened. You had no idea that I would be looking at your picture <laughs> going, oh, my God, there's a star in the background. 
Okay, your name, when you type in your name in Top Model, almost a half a million search results come up. What does that feel like? Um, it was, it's amazing. You know, I went into the opportunity, into this experience, and I really thought or kept out of my head transgender. Mm -hmm. You know, I really came here wanting the, the opportunity like everyone else and just try to not really think about it mm -hmm. because I didn't want that to consume me or believe that that was the reason I was here mm -hmm. because I know it wasn't. When I look at your face and see these cheekbones and these big eyes and these lashes, I see femininity. So when did you realize that you were different when you when you were a little tiny thing and just was a like tiny I thing. and not feeling because when <laughs> I was a hills. tiny thing I felt like a girl you know when you were a little tiny boy I felt like a girl you felt like a girl <laughs> I love it okay so you felt like a girl at what age um honestly I say born in the wrong body as long as I can remember like being a little kid I've always been envious of the girls because you know I would play with them but then I would get in trouble you know or just feel uncomfortable being around women yeah. feeling uncomfortable being in a boy like locker room so I've known my whole life that I was different and that I was a woman I just didn't know at the beginning like and I know I understand like it. you would go to the bathroom and feel really awkward mm -hmm. as a little boy always going, going to, to like the stall because I was just like um, I don't belong in here, so I will always feel uncomfortable. Now, I know that little girls like to play with dolls. Mm -hmm. So did you like to play with dolls? Of course. I, well, even though, let me set the record straight, it's, so I feel like it's okay for little boys to play with dolls. It is. It doesn't make them gay or transgender. You know, they say it make boys better fathers. But in my case, I've always liked to play with dolls, dress them up, because, you know, I'm a designer too. Mm -hmm. So dress them up, and but I will always get in trouble. So then one day I convinced um, my mother's boyfriend at the time to get me a female action figure. So, Which um, action figure was It was Xena at the time. Well, I wanted Storm, but <laughs> then I got the Xena. Oh, and, you know, I, that's very clever. It was Xena, and like you could take off her clothes. Like she had on another outfit underneath. <laughs> it was another outfit, but you could take off her, change her outfit. And I was just like, um, it's, it's an action figure. Can I get it? So from then, you know, I just started collecting all female action figures. <laughs> and did Way your mom to get around ever it. think, like, why is my son collecting all these female action no, figures? No, because she knew I was, at the time, I wanted to be a comic book artist. I'm, you know, into illustrations so and things clever. like that. So I'm just like, Very you clever. know, I'm a, I'm a comic book artist. I like yeah. comics. I like toys. So that's the way I got around it. Now, I know when you were 14 years old, uh, your mother had an office Halloween party. Mm -hmm. And tell me about that. My mother had a um, Halloween party, and... I was smart enough to convince her for me to dress up like her, but I made her think it was her idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> I made her think it was her idea, um, and I dressed up like her. I had on her, like, four-inch heels, um, long wig and everything, and we went there, and, you know, everybody just laughed at it. You know, oh, so cute, and I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just like, I'm feeling and it. And working the hills and everything. Nobody didn't think, like... You can walk in hills. They just thought it was funny. They just thought it was funny. I'm like, yeah, I've been walking hills for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I just want to say that that photo shoot that Isis did, the homeless photo shoot, the season before she was in Top Model, mm -hmm. it was freezing, freezing cold. So the models would circle in and out, back and forth, back and forth, like, I'm too cold. I'm going to take a rest. Now tell them what you did. Okay, so I'm anemic. Of course, you know, I'm really skinny, too. And, like, the outfit was very, very, a lot of skin. So... I stayed out there the whole eight hours because I told myself... How many hours? Eight. Eight hours eight in the hours. freezing cold, in the winter. I stayed out there for the eight hours because I told myself, um, you never know what can happen from this opportunity. Um, <laughs> so I just stuck it out, you know, in between Jay and, like, the photographer. They were like, you know, do you want to take a break? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> no, and just then sure. they were like, are you sure? I'm okay. As soon as they start shooting, I just stop. Hold <laughs> in. And, and look what happened. And I wanted again, you to so. tell that story because of the dedication. Transgendered girl, boy, does not matter. That is dedication. And that will get you someplace.